I found the strawberry bonbons of designer bags. Oh, strawberry bonbons. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Can I just say, I am really feeling the Renaissance vibes in this outfit with the big puffy shoulders and the pattern and this golden headband, I'm really feeling it. Today I am going to be talking you through my luxury slash designer spring summer essentials. I did this video for you guys last year for autumn winter and you really enjoyed it so I thought I had to do the same for my favorite fashion season. I try and show you guys a variety of fashion at all different price points on my channel because that is totally representative of my wardrobe. I'm always mixing and matching affordable high street fashion with luxury high-end pieces. And I always say that investing in one or two luxury pieces can totally lift up the rest of your wardrobe and make it look 10 times better, even if you're not spending very much on the rest of it. So, I have no idea what that was. I'm never gonna do that again. So I'm gonna show you guys a variety of things starting at entry level pieces for those of you just kind of dipping your toe into the luxury designer world to fully fledged shopaholics who love spending their money on expensive but pretty clothes. This video is partly in collaboration with Farfetch. As you guys know, I've been working with Farfetch for coming up to a year now and they are just my go-to destination, my one-stop shop for luxury purchases because they just have everything. And full disclosure, I'm only actually obligated to show one or two things in my Farfetch collaboration videos, but I just end up showing everything from Farfetch because that's where I get all my stuff. I just love them because they have everything you want, every designer, and they also support local boutiques all around the world, which especially in a time like this, I think is really, really important. So if you guys do have your eyes on anything in the video, you can use my discount code for 10% off I'll put it on the screen here and also down below in the description box for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and don't forget that I will link everything I show in today's video down below in the description box. So the first thing I'm going to mention is kind of like my level one entry level into the glimmering world of luxury purchases and that is sunglasses. I've been saying this for years but popping on a fabulous pair of sunglasses can totally transform your outfit and actually my expensive sunglasses were the first designer purchases that I ever made in my life as well and I feel like they're a really good place to start. And I have a few lovely essential pairs to show you. The first are my Tom Ford Simona sunglasses. Anyone who follows me pretty closely will remember I tried these on last last year in LA and just thought they were the most fabulous things I'd ever seen in my life. And they really are, they are just spectacular. They are superior to any of my other sunglasses that I own. They just look so fabulous and sophisticated. And I feel like with these sunglasses, I could be wearing a tracksuit from Primark and I would still look like a millionaire. They are, however, eye-wateringly expensive. But if you are a seasoned designer sunglasses purchaser looking for the next like step up, the next best thing, definitely, definitely give these a try. But I do also have a couple of other gorgeous, gorgeous pairs that are considerably cheaper, but still fabulous. If you still want to go for that really sophisticated glam cat eye look, these D&G ones are absolutely gorgeous. They're really, really nice and lightweight. They have that lovely tortoiseshell color, which I think for us pale, fair haired girls um, works a lot better than black. And you'll also find that something like this will go with everything. And you'll also wear them in autumn, winter as well when it's sunny. So they're a really good investment because you'll just wear them all year round. So my first choice would always be a cat eye because that's just like my signature look. I think it's really classic, but if you want to expand your horizons a little bit, another style I love is this kind of like bohemian style of sunglasses. Sometimes it kind of goes a little bit nicer with like really summery outfits like this. These can look a little bit more fun, especially in a nice pale color like these. They're just like a really lovely pale gold. These ones are Nina Ricci, really, really beautiful. And they'll just, again, go with so many spring summer outfits. Outfits. So my next level of my luxury spring essentials is shoes and bags. And although this is probably the category that you would end up spending the most money on, the reason I think it's like a level two is because when you look at the price per wear, which is how much it costs, divided by the amount of times that you actually wear it, you're gonna find that it's a much better investment than something like a dress. And you guys know that one of my biggest style tips when it comes to looking good and stylish all the time and making the most out of your wardrobe is to elevate all of your high street affordable pieces with a fabulous bag and pair of shoes. So I have several shoes and bags to show you. The first is going to be no surprise and it's my Chloe Drew bag. Now I know to some of you who have been watching me for years I'm gonna sound like an absolute stuck record but I can't worry about that 
too much because I know that so many of you do look to me for advice when it comes to your style and your purchases. And when it comes to something as expensive as this, you want to know that I have worn the heck out of it and it was a great purchase as opposed to something that I just showed you once and then you never saw me with it again. It's just the most versatile bag. I can guarantee you that I could put together a hundred outfits from my wardrobe and this bag would go with every single one of them. Like, I would actually bet money on it. It's just everything about it. The color is great. It goes with literally everything. The style is so versatile. You can wear this as a day bag, casually, or you can wear it as an evening bag when you're more dressed up. It goes perfectly with smart, elegant looks. It goes amazingly well with boho, hippie summer looks. It looks amazing with spring summer outfits, autumn winter outfits. It's just the best bag in the world. I mean guys, would it really be a Freddy video if I didn't mention the Chloe Drew bag? You'd probably wonder what was wrong with me. Another great option when it comes to versatility and buying something that's really really classic is the DNG Sicily Tote. I love this bag. I had my eye on this for years before I eventually got it. I was so excited. I got this in the winter and although it did actually look really good with my winter outfits, I wore this in New York. It looked beautiful. I do feel like it's a spring summer bag at heart and I have been really excited to pair it with cute summery dresses, floral patterns like this. In fact, actually this top looks very DNG as well. See, this is what happens. You get the DNG Sicily tote and suddenly this ASOS top looks like a six, seven hundred pound DNG top. Again with this, for me, it's the color that makes it so versatile because it just fits in so well with the rest of my wardrobe. And it's really funny actually, a point that I just want to mention. In my blindfold challenge video from last week, one of the comments was, this is the perks of buying everything in the same kind of color palette. And they were referencing the fact that I could literally pull anything from my wardrobe and put it together. And I wanted to bring that up today because it's so true. When you do kind of stick to a certain color palette, and it doesn't always have to be really strict, like I'm wearing green today, but on a general kind of basis, if you do do that, it makes pairing outfits so much easier, and you actually maximize the wear out of everything so much more. But I love this bag, I just think it's so cute and elegant at the same time. It's kind of dinky, but it's also very graceful. I feel like it has a slight vintage touch about it, which is of course the style that I love. I always like to have some kind of like vintage or retro element to my outfits. Now, for those of you who have already got your Chloe Drew bag, you've already got your forever bag, the bag that you wear with everything and you want to expand your horizons even more and buy something fun, I found the strawberry bonbons of designer bags. Oh, strawberry bonbons. Are you ready? Un, deux, toi. Is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? I had to include it in this video because I just thought it was adorable. So it's a pink canvas little Prada tote bag. It has a very summery, kind of like beachy feel about it. So it would make it like a gorgeous holiday bag, but you wouldn't just wear this on holiday. Like look how cute it looks, even with this outfit. And I think again, it kind of has that little bit of a vintage retro, like old fashioned look about it, which I love. The color is so fun. It's super casual and just look how adorable it looks like on your arm like this. I'm obsessed. It has this navy and pink striped strap, which which I think has a little bit of like a sailing nautical kind of vibe, like very saint -Tropez. And I feel like this is the perfect bag to go with those like throw on summer outfits. Like all my really cute little affordable white summer dresses, this will just go with them so perfectly. And again, make them look more expensive than they were. So now it's time to talk shoes. My first luxury spring summer essential shoe is a pair of fabulous flats. And yes, of course I am a heels girl ultimately, but at the end of the day, you don't want to be wearing heels when you go to the supermarket. You don't want to be wearing heels when you go to the post office. I mean, I do sometimes, I can't lie, but it's important to have a fabulous pair of flats that are gonna go with everything color wise that you can always just slip on, but they look good. And these are my favorites. I got these about two months ago and I've been wearing them on all of my little miniature outings that I've been having um, which isn't very many and they're all very sad and I get dressed up for all of them which in turn is probably also very sad. These flats are Tory Burch. They are little like slider mules. I vowed that I would never wear these like three years ago and here I am the fickle fashion of Freddy. They are the most gorgeous cream color and they just go with everything. They also do these in brown. I was very, very torn, brown or cream. But I eventually went for these and I was really pleased with my decision because I love how bright they are. They also have a little gold outline on the Tory Burch logo and they just look really good. And I love having a pair of shoes that you can just throw on without thinking. And they're really, really casual, but they just look fabulous. So next, sticking with that kind of mule style, but this time with a little heel, you may recognize these as 
I got them for my trip to Morocco and I was really excited to wear them during spring summer. Hopefully I'll still get the chance. And I feel like these are also a really great shoe to invest in because you can wear these with so many different outfits because of the color. They have a small heel that looks really elegant and makes you look a little bit more dressed up, but they're still very comfortable. And that like great Valentino logo just really stands out and like spices up what could be a really plain outfit. And next of course is my favorite style of shoe to wear in spring summer and that is heeled sandals. First of all, the amazing Valentino Rockstud sandals. These are a purchase that I made totally on a whim. I feel like I've told this story to you guys before, but I had some leftover voucher to spend on Farfetch from a previous collaboration last summer. And I just thought, why not? I've always kind of fancied them, never really wanted to spend my money on them because I wasn't sure I'd get the wear out of them, but hey, I've got a voucher, so let's just give them a try. And I was honestly really surprised about how much wear I actually got out of these. Because again, if you get them in a good color, which they have so many of, they are so versatile. You can wear these um, really casually with nice summer outfits, summer dresses, you know, even like an outfit like this, they would look perfect with. But they're also obviously incredible evening shoes as well. And you can get these in white, brown, black, whatever you feel like would work best with your wardrobe. I mean, for me, pink, obviously works really well. <laughs> so although they were a whim purchase for me, I can now actually safely say I think they are a really great classic investment. They're just so iconic. I think this style became popular like five or six years ago and it's still really popular now, which is a great sign for buying something like for longevity. Next, I have a more recent addition to my shoe collection that you may have spotted already on my channel and Instagram. And it's these fabulous pink Gucci ankle strap sandals. This is my perfect style of shoe. It's my most worn style of shoe during spring summer and I love a block heel because it's just so comfortable to wear you know walking around in the day that interlocking G logo it's so iconic they're so extra and adorable and I do think they have them in different colors because I saw my friend Amy got these in red for me pink is a really safe bet during spring summer because as you can see my whole wardrobe is practically white and then the last style of shoe I wanted to show you are these beautiful castagna wedges I feel like these definitely earn the title of a spring summer essential because this is style of shoe is so timeless. They've been stylish forever. And this brand, Castagna, has kind of got this reputation of being like the epitome of this style of shoe. And after having various like high street alternatives over the years and now trying these, I can really, really see why because every detail about the design is perfect. And the beauty of these is they're actually not as expensive as you think they're going to be when it comes to a designer shoe. I think they're under a hundred pounds. And I feel like for that price, they're actually a steal because like I said, this style is so timeless you will wear these for years and years and years to come every spring summer you'll be able to get these out and they'll always look gorgeous and where they're such a nice neutral color you'll be able to wear them with all of your spring summer outfits and on top of that they'll look great in the daytime also lovely for summer evening looks too and look how cute they would look with this outfit too so the third and final level of my spring summer luxury essentials is clothes. The reason for this is I'm always saying to you guys, save your money, buy your clothes from Topshop and ASOS, make it look amazing with a designer bag. But it has to be said that with exception of course, when you look at higher end, more expensive designers, you will find the most stunning, be useful pieces that you may not be able to find on the high street where things are made for the masses. And of course, it works both ways. If you're wearing a beautiful, stunning, expensive dress, it's gonna make this 4.99 H&M scarf look like Hermes, and this 20 pound Topshop bag look like well, I can't think of a designer, but you know what I mean. So first of all, let's talk about dresses. I feel like dresses are a great thing to buy because it's your whole outfit already done in one. I couldn't not mention my beautiful Zimmerman Edie dress. This is just an actual work of art. Although I'm such a big advocate of the high street, there are just some things that you just don't get. Like they just can't be replicated. I'm gonna show you for comparison, um, the high street kind of dupe to this dress. This is from River Island, and although I absolutely adore this dress, I think it's beautiful, I think it's an absolute steal for the high street. This one is just so much more structured, so much more detail. This incredible cut work detail and these fabulous striking buttons, the incredible structure on the sleeves and the skirt. The fabric, of course, is in a different league, but this dress just stands out a mile. It's unique, it's beautiful. Zimmerman is definitely my favorite high-end clothing brand. Another dress I wanted to show you, which is a lot more affordable, is this stunning dress from the brand Acla. Eclair. I just discovered this brand on Farfetch. It's a lot cheaper than Zimmerman, but coincidentally, it's also Australian. 
I think I love Australian brands. For some reason, they just really seem to nail that beautiful, feminine, whimsical, boho style that I just love in summer. And this dress is also to die for. It has a very similar feel to Zimmerman, but at a much more accessible price point. And I just love all the details of this dress, the button down, that beautiful frilly skirt, the balloon sleeves, and the lovely subtle pattern on the fabric. And I just think you can't go wrong with a white dress in spring, summer. They're classic, you can wear them every single year, so they're a good thing to invest your money in. Speaking of white dresses, the final dress to show you is another Zimmerman dress I just couldn't resist and it's this stunning stunning little strappy sundress the structure of the dress the way it fits on the body is just sublime the beautiful embroidery and lace through detail the lovely straps on the bows it's just absolutely adorable and again such a classic style something that you know you could wear for years and years to come so it would definitely be worth the spend and finally I'm going to talk about clothing separates and what I would consider to be essential now it's going to be no shock to most of you that I have to start off with my Zimmerman shorts. I hope you got your shots prepared. These shorts will probably end up being the best things I've ever bought. I've only had them for a few months, like four months since February, but I've worn them so much already and it hasn't even been spring. We haven't even been allowed outside the house, but already they are just my biggest wardrobe staple. And I've seen so many of you guys purchasing them as well. I love shorts and skirts. I'm a big shorts and skirts person. And I really struggle to find like the perfect pair of bottoms on the high street when it comes to shape and structure, the way it fits on my body. And these have just ticked all of the boxes and they look good literally with every single top. I just wanna show you because literally all of my spring summer tops look amazing with these shorts. This top looks amazing. This top looks incredible. This top, literally perfection. This top, adorable. This top, Again, perfection. This blouse, like it was meant to be, honestly. And I've of course had other pairs of white shorts in the past, and when I have two other pairs of white shorts in my wardrobe, and I'm telling you, they just do not have the same effect as these. I feel like when you buy these shorts, you need never spend very much money on your top half ever again, because these are just gonna do all the work for you. I also wanted to show you this little skirt. This is from a brand called Manning Cartel. I think also Aussie brand. This is practically the skirt version of the Zimmerman shorts. It's a little white bubble skirt. Honestly, I have one of these from ASOS and it just goes again with everything. All tops look cute with it. It's such a summer staple. And if you are thinking of spending more money on separates, go for something classic that's gonna go with everything that you're going to wear again and again and again. And whether you're into shorts, skirts, maybe an expensive pair of jeans or trousers, if that's more your thing, but you just want to make sure you're going for something versatile that you can pair with everything else in your wardrobe. And then finally, on the subject of separates, I wanted to show you a few lovely tops. You'll notice that all of the clothes I've shown you have been white. White. For me, I just think white is such a safe option because I know that I can wear it with all of my accessories. There's never gonna be a time where I'm gonna be like, oh no, this doesn't go. Like you can wear white with everything. Also white is completely and utterly timeless. White will be beautiful in spring, summer from now until eternity. So a few spring, summer essential tops. First of all, my lovely Zimmerman blouse. I wore this blouse and these shorts together in Marrakesh and it looked absolutely fabulous. And something like this, just like a high neck, classic floaty blouse is such a classic. Also this beautiful top from a brand called Beck and Bridge. Again, I think it's an Australian brand. This is a little button down flutter sleeve summer top again the most classic thing in the world but the design and structure of this is just the prettiest I think I've ever seen it just goes so well with the shorts I actually can't deal it also looks very very Zimmerman but so much cheaper than Zimmerman and I just think you get so much wear out of this top and for years to come as well and then finally this gorgeous gorgeous blouse from the same brand Aclair Aclair same as the dress. This is a little bit more statement than the others because you've got these gigantic balloon sleeves. It's also backless with a beautiful big bow to tie around your waist, which I just love. It's high neck um, and it has that same nice fabric as well as the dress. And these are the kind of versatile tops that you can pair with so many different color bottoms, literally any color shorts, skirts. I've got this gorgeous pair of pistachio green shorts coming from And Other Stories that all of these would look so beautiful with, with a pink Chloe Drew bag. <laughs> So that is all of my spring summer luxury essentials for this year. I really hope you enjoyed it and you saw some pieces that you liked. Don't forget you can use my code for 10% off at Farfetch. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.